I know that there are certain things that I talk about that people probably don't find all that exciting. And today may be an example of one of those things. This will be, be the third time that I've talked about this particular thing, the special day idea. Uh, and every time I try to talk about it from different perspectives so that I'm not just repeating the same thing that I said the last time that I talked about it. So today on the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics, by the way, I'm your host, I'm Kurt, and today is Wednesday, the 15th of September of 2021. Welcome to everyone who's here on Rumble on the podcast and on YouTube. Thank you for coming along. Remember, Rumble is my preferred platform. But today, this subject of overshadowed that we're going to talk about, I'm talking about for a very, very specific reason and from a very specific perspective. I've talked about the idea that special days, uh, having too many special days makes it so that you... You, you can't keep up, really. But let me go ahead and kind of get into my uh, notes, and this will give you some idea what I'm saying today. I've spoken several times on the idea of there being so very many special days on the calendar in this present time. I've talked about the idea that the moments uh, become little more than marketing spiels, and that's just true. That's just a reality. Uh, I've made it plain that keeping up with so very many events becomes more or less impossible. It's obvious that as time goes by, dates are repurposed such that something like Christmas becomes a chance to give gifts instead of celebrating Jesus' birth. Likewise, Easter starts to be about rabbits and candy and Halloween, about just the candy and playing dress-up. To be fair, I wouldn't be a fan of Halloween regardless. And I can tell you the reasons, but I'm not going to get into that here. That's not what this is about. The thing I don't discuss most of the time, though, is that tendency for important moments, both as a group of one kind or another and as individuals, to get lost in the shuffle. And I quoted lost in the shuffle, just so you know. Uh, if I were a big celebrant of birthdays or Valentine's Day, it would upset me that my birthday falls on the self-same day. I'm not, so it doesn't. I know others who have birthdays overshadowed by Christmas, New Year's, and even, believe it or not, Independence Day. Each cares more or less depending on the personality and general viewpoint, their personality and general viewpoint on life. The point here is, frankly, there are already enough such days, what with birthdays and days of major celebration, sadness, and commemoration. Do we really need more? I surely don't believe so. As far as you're concerned, that choice is yours to make. That said, I humbly request you don't pollute significant events with World Donut Hole Day and similar. What brought this on? Let me tell you what brought this on. This year is the 20th year since the 9-11 attacks on the United States. Every year on September 11th, Many, many, many people ce uh, not celebrate, but, but commemorate these attacks happening, commiserate with their fellows, talk to people about the fact that they had people who were affected by dying, by being the firemen and police officers who went in, some of them again bravely going in and dying in the process of trying to get others out. So many things. And I look at something like this, and I realize that there are a million other things that can be celebrated on this day. And I'm not telling you that you don't have the right to celebrate that on this day. I, I saw somebody on social media who said it was her mom's birthday, right? Well, how are you not going to celebrate your mom's birthday September 11th aside? And is that a sort of a bright spark in the middle of everything? Yeah, I guess it is. But my point is this, my, my simple reality is this. If you make it so that every day on the calendar has a million different things that can be celebrated on that day, you also do something else. You make it so that important things are less significant when it comes right down to it. That's what you do. I'm sorry if you want to put, like I say, World Donut Hole Day on September 11th, but if you do, if I were interested in mostly celebrating anything or, or, or commemorating or commiserating anything, it would be September 11th that wouldn't be World Donut, Donut Hole Day. In my mind, as it happens, you'll have to excuse the sirens, by the way. That's, they test them every Wednesday at noon, and I didn't realize it, but it is noon. That's fine. Things will be fine. Uh, 
so anyway, the point, the thing that I'm pointing out here is when you stack things one on another on another when it comes to a day like uh, September the 11th as a perfect example, okay, what you end up doing is you end up overshadowing the important with the insignificant. Now, to be fair, for most people who really care, they will not allow that to happen. That's not happening in their world, okay? That having been said, the significance of that day is very great because it literally was the first time there was a major attack on American soil that ended in the deaths of more than 3,000 people, the majority of which were civilians or people, emergency people, uh, who had no uh, dog in the fight of, of whether it was Afghanistan or whether it was a Taliban or whether it was... a uh, Al-Qaeda or whoever it happened to be, whichever particular group, they had no dog in that fight. They weren't, they weren't dealing with that. But here's what I'm trying to get at. You stack this on that, on that, on that, and things that are important have a hard time fighting their way to the top in the minds of a lot of people. My son was born on Talk Like a Pirate Day. I don't care. He thinks it's funny. Fine with me. That doesn't bother me so much. My son's birthday is the important thing on that day. If I forget everything else on that day, my son's birthday is the thing I will, will remember. On 9-11, and particularly in this year, 20 years out from the attack, on 9-11, I'm sorry, but I don't care what other celebrations you might have on your calendar. To me, the thing that overshadows them is not a celebration, but a commemoration of the brave souls and the unsuspecting who died on 9-11 of uh, 2001. This is, this is the thing. This is what's important and what, we, what people should be thinking about on that day as far as I'm concerned. I'm sorry that you want to have 20 different things that you can pick from on a given day. Typically speaking, it's not significant and it's not important that that be the case. It's just not. Celebrating something on every day of the year. Uh, celebrate life. Celebrate your life in particular that you managed to live another day. Every day of the year, I'm good with that. But celebrating some particular event, um, you know, like I say, um, pizza day, uh, secretary's day, boss's day, uh, you know, every day of the year. And I get that people want to do nice things for people in their world. I get it. I do. But the problem is that people make, they take advantage is what I would say. They take advantage of the fact that they can name a day for a particular thing and it becomes less and less significant and there become more and more things piled up on that day and it becomes less and less to weed the important or to weed out the unimportant from the important so that the important grows and flourishes. And that's bad. I'm sorry, it's bad. Uh, I get that you want to celebrate, uh, you know, this day or that day or whatever day. I get it. But making it an official day of celebration or commemoration or commiseration or whatever it happens to be, I'm sorry, but you just shouldn't be doing that with every single day of the year. That's just not how that ought to work. Uh, I, I'm not going to tell you you can't. It's not my job to tell you, oh, you don't do that or whatever. It's not my job to tell you that. Kind of dark today. I don't really know why, but that's life. Maybe we'll see some rain. Maybe that's what it is. Anyway, uh, you know, it's your choice. <laughs> You're going to do what you want to do. You're going to do what you want to do. But I want for you to understand something. There are things that are important to those people who lost family whether it was among the people who were in the towers, whether it was among people who were in the Pentagon, whatever you may feel about the Pentagon itself as a, as a structure, whether it was uh, people who were on that aircraft that plummeted into that field, um, whether it was uh, emergency responders, whatever it was, okay, those people will appreciate it if you clear the air to make it so that 9-11 is about the celebration of their family members, the commemoration of their loss, and commiserating with them about what happened. This, you'll pretty much always find that that's what they want. Okay, I need to go ahead and wrap this up. This is a daily summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host. I'm Kurt, and today is Wednesday, the 15th of September of 2021. Uh, tomorrow will be Thursday, the 16th of September of 2021. 
getting closer to that weekend, remember that uh, I'm here on Rumble on the podcast and on YouTube, and thank you for coming along, whichever of those you chose to join me on. Obviously, I prefer Rumble. It is my preferred platform, and I hope that you're watching me there, but you don't have to, obviously. Any of the places that you can get me is fine by me. Um, remember that you can give me a positive Rumble, a plus, or a boxing glove on uh, rumble if you want to do that. Remember you can also give me a minus or a negative rumble there as well. You can give me a thumbs up or a like or a thumbs down or a dislike on YouTube if you want to do that. Uh, obviously regardless whether you give me any other feedback I would love it if people would comment to tell me that they're either enjoying or not enjoying what I'm saying or if they find problems in what I say highlighting the problems so that I have at least something to consider in future uh, put stuff that I put out there. Uh, today's subject has been overshadowed, and tomorrow we're going to talk about building blocks. And I, I think a lot of people have failed to realize the importance of a single, quote, transaction in the course of life. And I think that we need to kind of discuss that to show how important that actually can be. So that's what we're going to talk on tomorrow. Hope you're having a good day today. Hope everything is going well for you. And hopefully we will see you again on Thursday's edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. The speaker on this edition of the Daily Summation is Kurt Schubert. This video was recorded on Wednesday, the 15th of September of 2021. Daily Summation is created for Kurt's Religion and Politics. Thanks for watching this edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I hope you found it entertaining or instructional and maybe both. Uh, if you want to see more from me, you can go to blogs.kpshubert.com. That's blogs.kpshubert.com. I am on Twitter, Parlor, and Minds.com. My handle on each of those is at KP Schubert. That's at K-P-S-H-U-B-E-R-T. I have a Rumble and a YouTube channel. They are the Kurtz Re Religion and Politics channels on Rumble and YouTube. I have a Facebook page. The Facebook page is Kurtz Religion and Politics as well. I, have, I am on Patreon. If you want to support me, that's one of the better places you can do that. And you will find me at Kurtz Religion and Politics on Patreon. Of a podcast. The podcast is podcasts with, a, with an S dot kpshubert dot com. That's podcasts dot kpshubert dot com. I think you should be able to find me with relative ease on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify as well. The best way I find to do that is to look for Kurt's Religion and Politics. You can try to use the daily summation. I find that it doesn't work as well as a general rule, but you can always try that. I'm glad to have you aboard today, and hopefully we will see you again tomorrow.